That's the question I've had for 20 years. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, uh, well, I indicated this in my initial presentation that the verse itself is, is enigmatic. Very enigmatic, mysterious. There's different ways of dealing with this, this portion of the ayah. And then the whole idea, I mean, there are some that say, yes, the Jews did not kill him nor crucify him. The Romans did that. Right? And you'll find this opinion, Giulio Bassetti Sani, who is a Catholic Islamicist, he takes that opinion. He actually believes that the Quran is a divine revelation and perfectly in line with the, the four Gospels. So I think it's just the nature of the ayah. And the thing is, it's not really important for us. It's very important for Christians for Jesus to die because Paul says, if Christ isn't raised, then Christianity is in vain. Your faith is invalid. It's in vain. But for us, I mean, a prophet dying or not, I mean, prophets were cut in half, prophets were tortured, right? Prophets were de decapitated. It's not so much of a big issue for us. Um, just as, you know, who was the son to be sacrificed, Ishmael or Isaac? Believe it or not, a lot of Muslims don't know there's an ikhtilaf and that there's a very strong opinion that it was Isaac to be sacrificed, not Ishmael. This is the opinion of Ibn Mas'ud and Sayyidina Ali, and these are people who know what they're talking about. So... <laughs> Uh, that's a genuine ikhtilaf. So it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it has to be Isaac because he is the progenitor of the Jewish nation. And, and it has to be Isaac for Christians because he's an ancestor of Christ. But for us, either one is a prophet. They're beloved either way. So I don't think it's just a big issue. Why is there no hadith? I, I don't know.